Hello there Potter friends and welcome back to the channel. I'm Brandy with Simply Potter and today I have with me the newest installment of the Wizarding Trunk Magical Lesson Series, the Care of Magical Creatures and Arithmancy Box. We are going to dive in and take a look, but first, if you're new to the channel, hello and welcome. Be sure to click the subscribe button and notification bell down below to join me for future Harry Pottery goodness. Now, let's dive into this box. Care of Magical Creatures is one of my favorite classes at Hogwarts. Huge animal lover, so hoping that this box does not disappoint. Let's take a look what we got going on here. Ooh, I see a box. I don't see a sheet on top that might be at the bottom for what's inside the box. Usually it's sitting on top, so we're just going to dive right in. This box did have a bag that said fragile on it, so expecting some kind of glass object to be in here and this might be it oh this is it <laughs> oh wow wizarding trunk has seriously been stepping up their bottle game so i've been putting all of them here on this new shelf behind me and look at this this even has a pump on it that's really cool so this is flesh eating slug repellent what Hagrid was caught trying to buy in Nocturne Alley. This looks incredible. That is a great start to this box. We're just gonna throw it right back on the shelf back here with all of the others. All right, I saw a green bag in here earlier, so let's take a look at what's in here. I see that we have some bubble wrap, so this might be another fragile item and it's looking like a candle i love the oh no it's not a candle i got fooled because i saw the lid we actually have rice so let's see what this is tree lice tree lice look like grains of brown rice and generally are found in a tree with wood that would be exceptional for wand making i did not know that it's very interesting here not sure how, how i like the rice an interesting choice for sure um, I don't know that on a potter shelf I would feel super magical about rice but I appreciate the creativity and I love the wax seal at the top of this it's very pretty it's a tree we'll stick that next to the flesh-eating slug repellent for now and move along to the next item what do we have here oh I'm taking out lots of things looks like we have chops maybe incense sticks what are these oh yeah this looks like incense all right i'm liking this i love love a good pretty smell all right so we have humanitarian a person disposed to making the lives of others enriched either a professor or a teacher of lemon vanilla Ooh, absolute re diffuser exclusive for the wizarding trunk by alchemy for the skin Ooh, i'm excited to smell this Lemon and vanilla are both just really super clean smells. All right, let's give us a brandy sniff test. Ooh, I really like this. This is like making me think of the the smell of the Girl Scout cookies. I can't remember what their name is, but ooh, I really dig this. That's a really nice smell. To figure out somewhere to put this. But until then, let's take a look at the next item in the box. We have the book cover designed by Danny over at Wizardy Workshop, formerly at Mogo Magic. So let's see this one. So far I'm seeing very pretty green color. All right. Ooh, this one's giving me some like Durmstrang vibes. Ooh, I love the foiling on this. Look at that color. That's so pretty. Let's see what this one is. Magical creatures. Oh, we have it upside down. Ooh, there's some very pretty illustrations. Looks like the giant squid or something coming out of here. An introduction to otherworldly beasts. Oh, I cannot get over the foiling on these. They're just so pretty. And these fit on the covers of the Harry Potter books and they are exclusive to the wizarding chunk you can only order them here and they're doing the series to cover them all so this is the next installment of that very beautiful what do we have for the next item this is so pretty i'm not sure what exactly it's supposed to be but it is a thestral 
I really think Thestrals are beautiful and this is also very beautiful. Look at the detail on the Thestral here. That is so pretty. This also would have made a really awesome item for the Halloween box. But I love this. Again, not quite sure what its function is, but we're going to find that out at the end when we go through the sheet. So, pop in here and grab another item. Oh, we have some artwork. Okay. Don't know if these are the only two artworks that we have. They're the two that I could feel. We have an Akami. Let's take it out so we can get a closer look. That's stunning. I love the artwork that's done for these boxes in this style. I have one hanging somewhere on a shelf that you can't see right now. And I think it's really simply beautiful. Like, it's not super extravagant, but it has really pretty bits of color and it's done really nice. And there's like notes on me. And I really enjoy the inclusion of these in the Care of Magical Creatures. Oh, we have the Blast Ended Scroot, which makes me think of Hag Ride at Universal and just makes me happy. So, so that's a win for this box. So here's the info artwork for the Blast Ended Scroot. And again, love the simplistic design and like the color pops that happen on these. We may end up finding more in the box. I'm not sure, but I really enjoy the two that we have. Next up, ooh, we have some kind of journal or book. What is this? My, my Ravenclaw senses are like, what's this? Oh, okay, so this is a, a leather bound style journal. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at, on the end of the page keeper here is a little owl charm. How cute is that? And then at the bottom we have the initials RH for Rubius Hagrid. Oh, and how pretty is the edge of this? We got a nice gold shimmer to the page ends. This is a neat item. I like this one. Very, very pretty. Oh, and at the end of this page keep, we have a key. The top of the key, it looks like a seahorse or some kind of magical creature. Not sure what creature it is in the Potter universe. If someone knows again, drop comments, I'll be out. But that, regardless, very neat. My Ravenclaw heart is happy. All right. I don't know how much we have. Ooh, it looks like we have actually a bit left in this box. It's feeling a little bit light, but I have two bags here. We'll open the gold one first because shiny things. It looks like we have some kind of medallion here. Let's take a closer look. This must have something to do with arithmancy that I'm not really aware of. So on one side, it looks like we have a leprechaun with a pot of gold with ones around the edge. And on the other side, we have a wizard and also has the ones on the side. I don't know if this, and I'm not quite sure what this is. We will find out later when we go through the sheet. All right, so now it's time for the red bag. Ooh, whatever's in here is very tiny. Okay, so we have a die. I don't know much about tabletop gaming or anything like that, which this is probably not intended for, but I don't know what side number die this is. So we have it here with all of these numbers on the end. Yeah, we'll check and see what this does to tie to Potter in the fact sheet. Do I see the fact sheet peeking out the edge? But first, we have a few other things on top here. What is this? So this here, ooh, we got pretty foiling again says arithmancy along the edge with a bunch of numbers. I love that shininess. So this just looks like an infographic card for arithmancy, which explains arithmancy. Because to my knowledge, arithmancy, all I know is that it deals with numbers. So this will be an interesting read to figure out what arithmancy is. I can appreciate that for that level of information that it provides because I probably should have looked this up before I dove into this box. It's a Niffler! Oh, how cute is this? And it 
it's like a little thicker than paper. It kind of feels like wood. Oh, that's beautiful. This would be such a fun thing to paint. You can totally paint it. Aw, little baby muffler. Okay. I think we're nearing the end here. We have the pin for this box. Ooh, this is a big pin. Oh. Today's lesson in, I can't read the bottom, the forest. So we have, does it slide? Oh, it does. It does slide. So we have what appears to be nighttime in the forest. And then you slide it open and you have daytime in the forest. There's a thestral, a hippogriff, some acromantula, and a werewolf. I like the day-night element to this. All right, I think that might have been the last item in this box. Here's so. So let's take a look at the sheet and see what all this stuff is. Oh, hey, look at this. So the front of the sheets always have some kind of interesting element to them that ties to the box. And this one actually talks about the nine-sided dice daily arithmancy chart. So you roll once a day and whatever you roll ties to any of these things. There's leadership, influence, or authority, love, loyalty, relationships. All right. So this, we solved the mystery of this. Now let's consult the fact sheet to solve the mystery of some of these other things. So we have the Otherworldly Creatures book cover. This exclusive book cover by Danny at Wizardry Workshop fits the third book of the first American hardback editions, Tree Lice. This jar of tree lice was bottled for us by Pure Blood Apothecary, used as a great distraction when pure, procuring wood great from wands. Leprechaun Gold. This batch of Leprechaun Gold has been spelled not to disappear, but please do not mistakenly spend it. Flesh Eating Slug Repellent. This green plant mister should be used on household plants to ensure they're not eaten by any pesky bugs or slugs. Notebook for Otherworldly Creatures. You can use this notebook to make notes on any and all of the otherworldly creatures you may be studying. Magical Platypus Wooden Print. I like, I like the dance around Niffler, that's funny. This wooden print was made for us by J.P. Mistlecrow. Antiqued nine-sided arithmancy dice. Use this dice daily to see what your day holds. You may re-roll once daily, but only once. Negative energy reed diffuser oil. Let us know what arithmancy social sign you received on your bottle. There are several different variations with the same amazing smell of lemon and vanilla. Otherworldly beast infograms. These two infograms will fit great inside your new notebook, created by Twilling and Tattings. Arithmancy Study Guide and Information Sheet. This arithmancy guide was created for us by Danny at Wizardry Workshop. Skeletal Horse Paperweight. They're quite gentle, really. This piece will make a great addition to any desk or shelf. Today's lesson pin. This sliding pin slides to reveal the creatures in the forest. All right, so it's time for me to pick a favorite item in this box. And my gut just immediately goes to the notebook. I really like the ends of the page keep and I just think it's really neat to have like a little bit of Hagrid. Hagrid's one of my favorite characters and I just think that's really cute to have the the RH at the bottom but it was really hard between that and the, the little scale little pony special paperweight. What was your favorite item? Let me know in the comment section below and while you're down there be sure to give this video a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Until next time, stay magical my friends.